Welcome back everybody, and if you are new here, welcome to my channel, Gochujang Mama. I like to post all sorts of recipes weekly. Please be sure to subscribe and click that bell notification to get my latest videos. Okay, so I have several ingredients that I need to use today, and what better way to use them than in a soup. Today I'm making a Mexican style meatball soup, also known as caldo de albondigas, and it's definitely a childhood favorite. So I've chopped all of my vegetables, two medium carrots, one large potato, one Mexican squash, and one jalapeno, which is optional, but I need to use it. And it does not make the soup spicy, by the way, unless it breaks open. I'm also going to be using one pound of lean ground beef. This is a 90-10 ratio of lean meat to fat. I'm also going to be adding a half cup of uncooked rice. And trust me, by the time everything is said and done, the rice will be cooked. To that, I will also add two cloves of minced garlic. By the way, some of these spices and seasonings in this recipe are definitely up to your preference so you can change the ratios to your needs. I'm also adding a half teaspoon of granulated garlic powder and a half teaspoon of granulated onion powder. Now the next ingredient is definitely optional especially if you are the type of person that tastes soap when you eat cilantro but I'm going to add two tablespoons of freshly chopped cilantro and now I will add a half teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of pepper. Again, you can change that to your preference. Okay, so now I'm just going to combine this well. And once everything is combined, I am going to start forming them into meatballs. I typically get around a dozen to maybe 14 meatballs, but it's up to you how big or small you want them. Okay, so my meatballs are all rolled out. So I'm actually going to cover them and set them on the counter for around 10 minutes because my ground beef is really cold and I kind of want to take the chill off. But if you have other things to do and you want to do this ahead of time, just put them in the fridge. Now I'm going to start my soup. Here I have a pot preheating with two tablespoons of oil in it. So I'm going to start by sauteing a half cup of chopped onion. Okay, so once my onions have sauteed for around a minute and started to turn translucent, I'm going to add my chopped potato and carrots. I want to give those a head start as well because those will take the longest to cook. And then I'm just going to continue sauteing for another minute. And then once those saute, I'm going to add the zucchini. Once my zucchini has had a chance to saute for another minute, I am now going to add nine ounces of crushed tomato. I actually like to use crushed tomato in a lot of my recipes because I just like buying them in these little square containers. But if you have a small can of tomato sauce, that works as well. Once I've mixed in the crushed tomato with everything, I'm going to add some Knorr chicken flavored bouillon base powder. Now you can skip this and ultimately use your own chicken stock or broth, but this is what I like to use. And I'm going to start with a tablespoon, but ultimately I'm using two and a half tablespoons of this bouillon base powder. Now that everything is combined, I'm going to add two and a half quarts of water.
Once everything is mixed, I'm going to add pepper to taste. Then I want to bring this up to a simmer. Now that my soup is boiling, I'm going to start adding the meatballs. Once all of my meatballs are added, I am going to cover my soup with a lid and I'm going to lower the temperature, maybe somewhere between medium low to low, and I'm going to cook it for around 25 to 30 minutes or until all of the vegetables are tender, the meat is cooked, and so is the rice. Once everything is cooked, you can also taste the broth. If it needs extra seasoning or salt, you can add it at this point and maybe allow another extra five minutes of cook time. Then this is ready to serve. This Mexican style meatball soup is definitely a childhood comfort food favorite and it's very easy to make. I hope you guys give this recipe a try. I hope you like it. And thanks for watching!